right, so this is my level 45 Clash of Clans guy. Um, let's see, for a few weeks he's been in this uh, clan called Leaping Jaguars, which uh, the last, uh, let's say the last two 48 hour events we were able to get the max rewards. Here I am and KO. Not too many donations, but the last few, um, actually every uh, clan that I was in before for the past six months has been fairly inactive. So I almost was able to get 14,000 war points in the last uh, 48 hour and I have a lot of uh, rewards so again the Ori Lodge Shuriken Tower uh, Heiko's Cabin some other things here I really want to save up for, I need to grind out uh, 20.8 million for the next castle, which is important because a lot of my items are already maxed out. I need to get to the next level. Let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7. 4, 11, over 11, like about 11.3 million, so that I, I would actually need only 10.5, uh, that could be that, actually I uh, was able to grind out um, a couple days ago, I, I was, <laughs> I did 11 mil for the healer, which probably could have if I would have been thinking straight, I would have done them both at the same time. Anyways. So this is my um, you'd be surprised uh, at how many people when I'm defending, I actually get a lot of war points. Not so much at the higher levels, like uh, I've lowered mine, but before I was at, you know, once you get past uh, 1100, it becomes more difficult to win with this particular strategy. The strategy is, if you put your castle here on the side, people think it's a, it's a free easy target. So they will deploy their bonus troops and the bonus troops would like die in uh, a few seconds unless they use uh, freeze scrolls to freeze these uh, lightning towers and archer towers because my own freeze towers will perma freeze a lot of things. So. Usually what I do is I keep my resources low and I keep it here and surprisingly a lot of people attack it because they think it's free points and some of the people will give up if they lose uh, their bonus troops. Some people though will end up committing a whole friggin like say this guy just committed um, I'll show you this one. So he puts his bonus troops and he didn't use any scrolls, so the bonus troops will die pretty fast. Did uh, deploy some Mong Mongols, Mongols, which uh, didn't do too much. Let's see. 
see someone that fails. Here's someone that fails with uh, quite a powerful group. Uh, level fives and sixes. So this guy's probably a level 50 or 60 or even higher. This guy is, that, that bonus dragon is pretty powerful. So he's probably pissed. He's like, oh, damn it, I have to launch a bunch of troops. So then he launches his full army. He didn't use any scrolls. If he would have used scrolls, free scrolls would have uh, would have been able to uh, stop the freeze towers and lightning towers right there. They're all close together. Two scrolls would have been able to freeze long enough for his army to, if he would have deployed them all, he could have destroyed the castle and uh, the towers before they unfreeze. So he's just putting his troops in like one at a time, which means that they're going to get frozen and die. It just doesn't work without the freeze uh, scrolls. Look at someone else who failed. Look at this guy. So he used uh, the fire scroll or the damage scroll. I don't remember what it's called, but that doesn't work. I never did get that bonus dragon because uh, my previous group was just so inactive that they couldn't do it. Not enough people were putting up war points. So I left them and joined this uh, leaping, dra leaping leaping Jaguars, which helped a lot. So he's going to keep trying. Just kind of funny. It actually makes me laugh watching people just get trolled with this particular setup. Yeah, he's almost going to do it. But those um, archer towers are pretty badass against. Uh well, he did do it. That's the thing about this replay. Sometimes the replay shows that they do it, but they don't. And sometimes it shows that they didn't do it, but they really did. So I don't know. Anyways. These, uh, I recently finished uh, level 5 fire demon, or sorry, level 4 five fire demons. Level 5, uh, those are expensive as hell. Look at that. 71, 171,000 essence. Those are expensive to use. Level fives. So if you were to fill your, so you could put uh, 10, 15, 15, I think it would take um, four times, 16, 16 fire demons to fill 
uh, the Max uh, dojos. You could put four in each dojo. That is, let's look, 171k times 16. It's 2.7 million? 2.7 million. Jeez. To fill, 2.7 million to fill your uh, dojo up with fire, uh, level 5 fire demons. Yeah, right now I'm training uh, level 4 medics. I think uh, carrying around at least one medic is a good thing. They just take a long time to train. But they do help, especially with, uh, you know, the, the long battles. And what else? I'm working on my walls. Working on getting all level 8s. Costs 1.8 million. So a couple times a day I'll go and like um, save up. Just passively save up. And then I'll go look for somebody that has a, over a million. And like, uh, probably got a, a while, but probably in an hour or two I'll go ahead and grind out another uh, wall node. Sometimes I find people with a couple million and then I'll grind out uh, and just upgrade to a uh, level 9. 